all you fine a very good morning sir i am pretty well today and just thrilled to have this session and i was uh, waiting for this session eagerly and uh, how about you sir how's your day going on i am very fine we have it is a the matter of a kind of uh, pleasure for me also that uh, whenever i talk to young people like you who are uh, doing this job of teaching english to people uh, so i always thrilled myself so because you know english is uh, uh, you know uh, an area where people have so many fears and so many phobias and uh, uh, from my 50 years of teaching students have discovered that all this is because of the wrong approach to learning english yes. this is the reason. and what i am here is i'm with the help of young people like you i'm just trying to shape to uh, my idea of how english can be learned can be learned in an entertaining way rather than uh, in a very kind of uh, difficult and scary way you see i call it entertainment i i think that learning english is not a fight at all it is fun exactly. so is what i'm doing at when young people like you wish to find out how do i uh, do it then it is a matter of joy for me also so yes sir uh, uh, yes sir i just went through your uh, videos uh, a few videos uh, which you have uploaded on your youtube channel and i was really uh, i was immensely happy to see because you know sir you have told very complex things in a very simple way and what i liked about you because you are interacting in hindi and that's what made me happy because you know what sir sometimes uh, i i uh, i am used to scroll so many videos related english uh, speaking skills no sometimes we just uh, go those websites which really make it a matter of thinking which really make learning english a rocket science because they they themselves are uh, putting this matter in such a that uh, Uh, they have created such environment through their channel me, they just uh, they are giving a message that it's not an easy task it's very difficult so it should not be like this because we indian we have hindi most of the people hindi as our first language we are dependent on this language so it is not possible to leave hindi behind because we can learn easily through this language whatever are first languages so uh, you you are doing sir commendable because you are and your uh, that video patterns of verb eight patterns of verb oh my god i was like uh, these kind of techniques we don't have they have actually you know what happened let me tell you that uh, there are two types of people there are a lot many scholars around us and then there are a few teachers you yes. know the different uh, the difference between scholars and teachers is that scholars try to make things very difficult yes. with a with a show of their uh, kind of information yes. but you know what a teacher does is a teacher tries to address the complexity of an issue and tries to find the simplicity of that issue and then shares that with the, with the students this is what i have been doing always that uh, you know and and of course mother this uh, all this came out of my own experience because uh, i was also born and brought up in a village like you talk about hindi my mother tongue was punjabi see right. in my my circumstance there was no chance to get a, a top class training in english speaking because i i was born and brought up in a small village in punjab and then i lived there for 22 years but then then i i elected to teach english and then i discovered that it is very easy now you know for example my the example that i give to my my read my learners is that uh, uh, think of a small baby born to any language group yes. that that baby in a matter of 4 years he, he becomes a wonderful uh, master of his language it he, he, if he's, he speaks hindi he becomes a wonderful communicator in hindi similarly punjabi and similarly english so yeah. this is what i tell my learners i tell them that learning a language doesn't require a training at all you know a child 4 year old baby masters english he he cannot he cannot master math or trigonometry or right. other subjects at this young age but he becomes a master communicator so uh, the, 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 that is the model that we should keep in front of us and uh, then next thing is that when you when you are convinced that oh english can be learned by a baby also then the next step is to find out how does that baby learns english 
and i found out the two things happened to that child which are those two things number one is uh, uh the, the, the child every day learns words 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 every day the child yes. learn so then second thing is that he also from his own environment he picks up uh, the skill of uh, arranging those words into structures that's all it is as simple as that it happens to that child naturally and uh, in our context uh, we have to uh, manage those two things that yes. wherever we are if we are daily learning words with our own effort number 1 and if we learn to arrange those words in structures we master english very easily that's all exactly. now uh, this is what is happening in our schools and in our see what what do they do they they never the teachers never focus on these two things they have yes. a defined syllabus and they cover that syllabus finish that syllabus and there is there are no communication skills so this is what i then try to address as a teacher i taught at ev college for 35 years and tried as head from there and uh, over that period i perfected this method of teaching english and that i have been using now for the last uh, 14 see i retired in 2009 but since then since then i am busy working on this attack because it is it is being welcomed everywhere like young learners yes. people like you because it solves the problem right. uh, and how and again let me tell you that people sometimes in a very faulty manner they describe the, the way of teaching for them uh, see they they tell you that there are two ways of learning english one is direct method and the other is translation method this is what mm. they say Yes. and so after defining it like this then they they look look down upon their mother tongue they reject the mother tongue at all and 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 they think that probably it is a sin to use your mother tongue in learning english exactly. so this is what this is what our scholars are doing but whereas if you if you if you try to find out you will you will see that all the international uh, serious platforms of uh, uh, language learning they tell you that mother tongue is the rich source of teaching you any alien yeah. language when an american tries to learn latin he learns it through 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 english when a britisher tries to learn any any european language he he learns it through his language yeah. but there is a strange kind of confusion here that we probably if we speak in hindi or punjabi then we cannot learn english it yes. is a very it is a very very faulty faulty kind of uh, approach now look here what how how do how do i uh, uh, tell people ki which is the yes. right to learn english i yes. tell them that it is not the direct method or translation method this is not the issue yes. the, the the issue is that whether in your technique the grammar is in the foreground or in the background this is the yes. issue grammar in the foreground or in the background yes. so those the putries of direct method they they, they should know that uh, in a good public school uh you know over 12 years uh, through the through interaction with teachers a child of course matlab see he learns english without bothering yes. about grammar but this is not available in 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 lakhs of schools in our rural areas in himachal yes, haryana and punjab so and so how do we solve this problem see my method my method takes uh, the easy way to learn english to these areas that how how we can probably use our mother tongue very creatively right. to do master english communication that's all this is what i have done and and you know uh, the, the 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 thing that i found that i discovered is that uh, you know throughout your life you speak only eight structurally different sentences there is no time yes. so it is so easy my hindi or punjabi learner he already knows those eight structures in mother tongue and i help them say those so those eight structures in english and full, full grammar is up. so this is how you know i like you i like you 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 are doing it very well at your place you know i i interact with teachers also all the, all the brilliant teachers they at once are uh, so much appreciative of this idea they they tell me that it is much more effective than the the, the way of teaching english that we are using huh? exactly so this, sir So now we have we can uh, uh, see maybe if you if you have some questions one by one how the whole kind of uh, outline of my system roadmap we can talk about it in points if you have any question you can go ahead 
Yes, sir. But uh, I have uh, not one question. I have a list of questions. But first, really, I just want to tell you that uh, today, when I uh, before our session, I was uh, watching your videos, and you know what, sir, you have changed my perspective, my idea of thinking. Now onwards, I am going to deal by, with my students as you are dealing. I always used to think, like, as you are telling, that we cannot, uh, we cannot put our mother tongue. Uh, in background because this is the way this is the link this is the bridge between uh, our learning how can we put it aside but when i when i saw so many videos uh, on youtube that two of famous famous uh, you, uh, teachers or tutors they all used to say just uh, don't translate forget your native language be it hindi be it any other so it made me confused but <laughs> in a way when i am dealing with my students i am always interacting in that language in which that that is easy to uh, understand them it's not that i am just speaking in english and they are not understanding me so that is the wastage of time so as a teacher as a tutor i always try to connect with my students and when i i am just i have that regret why i didn't watch your video earlier why i uh, wasn't able to know you and i am uh, in a way i'm thankful to youtube and uh, because the, uh, youtube recommend me your videos and when i just clicked on i was like oh my goodness uh, he is here and uh, uh, this is a tutor whom i was looking for so today uh, it's my, it's like a fortunate day for me because i am having interaction with you and yes sir you have just changed my direction of thinking and now i am going to apply all these trick tips and tricks to me and to my learners so yes sir now my first question as you are retired now right mm. you can have very easy life easy life mm. not right sitting or uh, just reading newspaper watching news ah. but what is that thing that uh, uh, that makes uh, that has made you going like this you are still working you are still doing so what is that one reason they have i you know my my uh, my belief system is very very simple you know what is my belief system and my belief system is based on the the features uh, uh, prominent features of this creation itself you know if you look around in this creation the first thing is health you know yes Be because because there is the health dominates the whole creation that is why the creation is going on so the health is my first value i i believe in Uh, maintaining good health number 1 and then the second thing is that the whole creation is busy in work yes. you know can you tell me any anything that is not working everything is everything is working so yes. my second my second system of belief is that work 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 so i i find work for myself and and again you know my why why i'm doing this and i'm doing it with the you know such a kind of uh, exciting experience all over because there are so many platforms where now i am uh, linked with and and we are we are we are getting wonderful results for them uh, and then you know what is my goal my goal is that as soon as it is possible by proving the efficacy of this system at grassroots level yes. we should get the uh, the syllabus totally changed in boards the himachal board punjab board and then haryana board they should throw away the old rotten system and yes. they should pick up a new system of teaching english that is very kind of entertaining for our learners right sir and and now see you know what happens get the most the people you 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 have been uh, listening to all those people and and and, and they have millions of followers i yes. i only, i only started last november and i have no doubt that uh, one day our channel will also yes. be a source of interest for me I, i i have no doubt about it so yes. but you know uh, you know uh, what uh, uh, those all those people who are who are warning you against you, you, using your mother tongue yes. they are they are suffering from a kind of a uh, fallacy you know uh, uh, no for example you know you have so much experience in spoken english teaching no no if you if you look for a conventional course of learning spoken english you will find that it is it is based on mugging it is based on mugging right. there is there is nothing but mugging and right. and you know but and, and i i was aware of all that i am i am totally aware of 
all the kind of formulas or all the kind of uh, programs that are available in the market even a british council program even a, an american setup uh, uh, pro program that americans have recently punjab school education board has entered into a kind of mou with some american setup so you know what do they i am aware of those systems those systems are based mugging so how do i how do i how how do i throw a mugging um, now for example what is the first step so the first step that i take the first step is that all my learners i ask them to start writing paragraphs in hindi yes they should write paragraphs in hindi and they should read in my class i have some online classes also in my class this is how my learners proceed every day they write a hindi paragraph this is the first step i begin from here they write hindi paragraph and then i ask them to just try to find out Uh, the different structures for example if they have written 10 lines i make them read out those 10 lines lines again and again and then they find out that the line first and the line fourth and the line fifth they were they were of the same kind they were of the same kind right. so and then they then they next they find out the line second and the line seventh they were also of the same kind so th now this is how my learners start recognizing those structures structure and then i name those structures for them you see these are eight only things and then possession then simple continuing perfect intention compulsion and modals and you would be surprised that in a matter of one week they clearly start identifying those sentences yes. this is what they do and and now simultaneously my uh, vocabulary work starts here you know okay. i ask them you know you have written a paragraph in hindi mm -hmm. suppose you have to say this paragraph in english mm -hmm. so which which are the words of need which words the so, see the words of need for example suppose suppose as uh, uh, one of your learner says that uh, meri kitchen mein ek tawa tha tawa for right right and now now he wants to say it in english obviously yes. he will he will he will ask me the, the english for tawa tawa Uh -huh. i will tell them it is griddle yeah yeah right able to text so this is now what happens my learners start writing paragraphs in hindi, hindi. so uh, on one side they start uh, identifying sentences very clearly yes. and then they also start listing their words of need right and, and these words of need they never forget because right. they, they came out of their curious yes. so Uh, sentence identification begins and the work on vocabulary also starts okay and then every day what do we do you know if you uh, will search you will find a site that tell you uh, to learn stories through reading uh, okay. to to learn english through stories this is this is the type of i can after you 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 google search that site okay, uh, see learning english uh, through stories stories ah. And and to be surprised, there are numberless stories over there. Level one, level two, level oh, three, yeah. level four. So this is the this is the other thing that I do daily. I share with them a small narrated story, two minutes, two minutes long, three minutes long, very small narrated story. And so now now this is an additional effort to add to their vocabulary. They listen they listen to the story, they enjoy the story, they notice the words, they also. sensitized they are sensitized to the pronunciation of words also and this is the second way that they start learning their words by joint stories so these two things go on so sentence identification is complete and vocabulary starts building and then you will you will be surprised if without i asking them to start now writing in english they themselves start writing those sentences in mm -hmm. english themselves by themselves this is what they do so this is how i acha again so this is and first of all i focus on eight structure they that they should learn these eight structures very clearly and they start saying them in english writing them in english then in one day i tell them to look here there is a structural division of these sentences mm -hmm. positive negative interrogative negative yes. at one step pick up the idea of a structural uh, division of the sentence Yes. so that this continues for some time then the third step is that i i i tell them about the about amount of time for example 
amount of time. If if in a sentence some amount of time is added, then then what is the difference? That that what difference does it make? Okay. So then we find out very soon that this uh, amount of time doesn't make any changes anywhere except at places in king sentences and continuing sentences where they were using was were is a more shall be. For example, when we say I am a teacher, it is thing sentence, and I am teaching, it is a continuing sentence. But when they say that I, I have been teaching for years, then it becomes a continuing plus amount of time. Right? So they pick up the idea of amount of time. Al, okay, and here they are told the how to use since and for. They learn very fast. So now up to now, are uh, eight sentences. Number one, then their subtraction division. And then amount of time, mm-hmm. and then I give them another idea: the idea of tonal division of sentences. Tonal okay. division. Okay. okay, you know, you, in in case of sentences, you do not have only structural division; you have a tonal division also. Your tone changes, your tear tone changes, and you get a kind of sentence. It is not a category; it is a new kind of sentence. For example, okay. those eight, those eight were the basic categories. Mm-hmm. But what are what are these 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 the, the tonal kinds? For example, there there are six. They have they are six. One is assertive statements, then questions, interrogative sentences, then imperative sentences. Uh, uh, order, advice, or uh, or uh, or uh, order, advice, or uh, uh, request, uh, or request, command, and then this optative sentence. Optative sentences are wish or prayer sentences. Yes. Okay. So we have assertive. We have interrogative. We have imperative. We have a uh, uh, operative sentences. Then they, then there is a, then there are exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences. And then as I the last category, I call it let sentences. The sentences that begin with let. And uh, they are for suggestion or they are for proposition. For example, when I say that let us start, let us take tea now, it yes. is a specific idea. Right. And when I say go in, sir, it is a proposition. Right? That's commendable, actually, sir. Uh, you know what you? It's your structure. It is kind of a tree. First, you are inserting the seed. You are let you are letting it grow up uh, firmly to set its roots firmly in the soil. Then it is growing in its seeds because you are uh, making you are cl- uh, making your students uh, each and every confusion clear in a way that they don't uh, they don't get pressurized. They are out of that phobia that oh my God English English is uh, very difficult to learn. We can't learn English uh, using our native language. But you are just uh, uh, you know uh, letting them in uh, free from that uh, cage of fear. So that is very nicer. And I uh, I'm like I have no words. How did you find this idea? It is really uh, actually our students need this. especially if i talk about students from rural area we yes. can't expect a uh, very advanced knowledge of english from them because we know i also belong to a village from himachal so i know i am uh, uh, i am myself a hindi medium student so yes. i can relate myself it is not that much easy some some uh, uh, tutor says that uh, some tutors say that uh, uh, it doesn't matter you are a hindi medium student or a convent school matter, uh, matter uh, student it doesn't matter but it does matter it does matter uh, so your model of uh, teaching student is really commendable i completely agree with that ha uh, and the now uh, you know uh, what uh, whatever i have shared uh, with you up to now so uh, conventionally the, it is called grammar it is not grammar at all. i tell people that i tell people that this is not grammar at all. Yes. this is only a mastering communication by taking lessons from the life in front of you this is what yes. i tell them but now look again this is the this is the last point that i like to share with you what what do i think uh, uh, about grammar grammar actually is a, a matter of uh, mastering three concepts what are those three concepts okay hey, you should find out which are nouns and which are adverbs and which are adjectives these three things these three things are to be see if you start with words and you start uh, uh, correctly finding uh, which are the nouns which are the adjectives and which are the adverbs then this leads to uh, you to the next step very soon you start uh, uh, recognizing the noun phrases and adjective phrases and verb phrases and then you take the next step 
you master non finite verbs also for example gerunds which are always yes. nouns participles which are adjectives and then infinitives which are now sometimes now sometimes adjectives and sometimes adverbs and then finally the fourth thing that we do is that you start also finding out that this is this is a noun clause this is an adjective clause and this is an adverb clause so this is grammar and for this also so you will not find this thing in my book or in my uh videos because uh, i uh, whenever i am interacting with learners or when i am interacting with teachers we i share uh, this thing with them uh, orally look at this is how you have to perceive how you know for example let me now yeah, i can share it uh, very simply with you also you know you have three sets of questions three sets of questions the first set is what who who yes this Ah, what do so if you are in doubt about uh, a word a phrase or a non find or a clause you ask one of these three questions answer to this if that word that that phrase that non finite or that clause if that answers this question what whom then it is a noun it is a noun word or a noun phrase or a noun exactly. non find or a noun clause that's all yes. acha then the second 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 question is which can you catch i see at which that that is which which uh, in bracket you can say which number kind quantity etc yes. this question is which and the answer to which will always be an adjective an word and an adjective phrase an adjective non finite yes. or an adjective clause right, okay right. then last last set of questions is when where how why when where how why yeah. so answer to one of these will be an adverb word an adverb phrase an adverb non finite or an adverb clause and you can do it very very quickly and very fast that's all yes. the grammar is covered the whole grammar is covered that's it. we are Any never question? taught like this we are never taught like this <laughs> yes because you, ha yes you are right you are, see over there it is torture you you ask me hey, how did i come by this way i came by this way because of my own suffering okay. like you who used hindi in himachal i used punjabi in punjabi and these our suffering is common and my i could i could find a solution to this suffering right, <laughs> with sir, my experience right. with experience yes. exactly <laughs> But, because uh, you have uh, come a long way you uh, you actually you have dealt with uh, this situation i guess uh, each and every day during uh, your uh, job right Yes, and yes. Uh, that was the reason you could and there was a curiosity to do something for the or the other for your students so that is the reason you uh, you found a way but uh, really you but really uh, because you made all the grammatical concepts very easy if i talk about gerunds and infinitives students ah. students don't have any idea what Yes. they they have uh, mostly my students if i talk about students from himachal if i ask them uh, do you know what is gerund they they don't have any idea about gerunds infinitives and conditional sentences they are just familiar with tenses active passive narration and prepositions conjunctions that uh, it parts of speech <laughs> but uh, uh, it is really commendable the way you told me uh, uh, questions in a in a way that you just have divided questions then you relate those question with the noun adjectives yes. and adverb yes three sets of questions let yes. me let me repeat what who whom for nouns what, what who whom for nouns or pronouns which right. which for adjectives and Adjective. when where when where how why for adverb adverb so it's easy it is very it's easy simple. yes it's very simple it is that's very nice sir and uh, really it uh, for me i am telling you that uh, it is going to uh, change my way of teaching and my way of learning english because i have got this that direction now and i am quite clear good good my first motive is to serve for society as to uh, provide education or to share my knowledge with those students who really need it and they don't have that much uh, they they are not financially strong enough so if i can uh, help in any way and it would be my privilege to connect with you to work under your guidance it was wonderful meeting uh, with you sir and i am looking forward to meeting you again okay. yes sir thank you so much sir and bye bye take care god bless you thank god you bless so you, you so god bless god bless